Good morning. Greetings from Northeast Arkansas. Um, I know I haven't posted uh, in a while or uploaded a video in a while because I've been really sick with a upper respiratory thing. Um, but for about the last two weeks I've been sick. Um, but it is Sunday morning. It is 64 degrees. I'm actually feeling better, not coughing when I walk or get up to do something. So I'm going to grab me something to drink, a little breakfast, and get out and hit the Goodwill and some area flea markets and maybe even Kirkland's and Home Goods. So stay with me for this shop with me, thrift with me, and haul at the end. I was really excited to go with to my local Goodwill store because I had never been there before. But once I stepped inside and got to looking, I was really disappointed. As you can see, there was not a whole lot of home good decor or home good items. Um, my Goodwill seemed to be mostly clothes, clothes and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna kind of look around for a few minutes. Once I saw these mason jars, I had to stop and look at them because they're made in the same style as the one from Italy. But unfortunately, they were not from Italy. And these finials I thought were pretty cool because they were like heavy cast iron. That was a waste of time. There was nothing, nothing in the place. <clears throat> Y'all have to excuse my voice. Y'all's Goodwills must be a lot better than mine because I see people going to Goodwills and they find the shelves are full of things. The shelves were empty here, y'all. You saw the little bit of footage that I shot, but so I think I'm gonna head to some flea markets and see what I can find. I think I'm gonna stop by Home Goods first. Make sure when you go to your local Home Goods store that you check their clearance section. They had some of these plants that were pretty good prices for clearance items just not really what I was looking for but they have a clearance section in almost every area of the store when I spotted this flower arrangement I thought oh how pretty is that it was heavy stoneware but it was $30 and I was like no I don't think I'm gonna pay $30 for that but it was very pretty the container was very nice. When I saw these lemon dishes, I immediately thought of my niece who lives in Millington because she is doing her kitchen in lemons. And these were so cute. And they were the melamine. They were not actual ceramic plates or something like that. So they were pretty durable. But then I made my way on around to this other section that had some really cute Easter items in it. That little tray there was really cute. And if you like the white stoneware look, 
Check out your local home goods. They have a lot of it. A cute little teapot, but it was chipped at the top. So then I turned around and I saw in the back there the most beautiful display of lemon dishware. I had to stop and call my niece and do a FaceTime with her. So I'm gonna continue to browse a little bit and check out the clearance sections and see what goodies I can find. And then we'll get checked out and go to our next stop. Tell you when I picked up this basket and turned it upside down that scared me that piece fell out I guess it had come unglued but it really startled me I think I jumped about three feet and saw this padded ottoman I was like oh my goodness I think if it hadn't been so blue I probably would have bought it because it's only $175 but I wasn't sure about the color and I spotted this kitchen faucet but my luck it wouldn't have all the pieces with it so I didn't get that faucet but I'm still on the hunt for a new faucet for my kitchen. How adorable are these little bunnies? They're so cute. They need a little TLC and they need to be clean. But for that price, I think these bunnies are gonna be coming home with me. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna put them in my buggy in case I don't change my mind about getting them and I don't want someone else to get them if I put them back and then go back and they're gone. So I'm going to put them in my buggy and then I'll decide at the end if I actually buy them or not. I may find something better than them. But I'm going to continue to browse and look at all these different items.
and I spotted this mirrored coal oil lamp holder. They made these with mirrors in them because when you light the lamp, the mirror reflects, reflects the light and makes it brighter in the room. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you know how I am about rolling pins. And this one came with its own stand. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have one like that. I don't have one like that. But I found this one. Oh my gosh, I wonder if I bought either of these rolling pins. Y'all, this cute little ceramic basket caught my eye. It was $1.99, and it included the Easter eggs. Of course, I didn't need the Easter eggs, but I kept looking at it and looking at it, and I set it down, and then I picked it up again. Hmm, what could I do with this basket if I bought it? I spotted this bag, which had what I thought was like a doily in it, but I opened it up and looked at it later and it was a curtain balance, so I'm glad I opened it up. But there were so many things piled up here. And so of course I have to look through because I am looking for pillowcases to go with that new Chenille bedspread that I got. And I'm looking and I think I spy pillowcases under here. Yes, there's, it's a pillowcase and look at the beautiful little trim around it. But it was only one pillowcase. But if it's just one, I could still buy it because my pillowcases don't have to match. But when I opened it up and looked at it, it had a stain on it, you guys, a big, huge stain. saw this beautiful tapestry chair with the wooden back and the detail. It's gorgeous. And then I saw this set of dishes here and it made me think about another YouTuber that I watch, Little Blessed Nest, because she collects these that have this wave pattern on them. is this dresser. I love just walking through flea markets, even if I don't buy anything. I love just looking 
and touching things and thinking about the history behind each item and how many people have probably used that item. And this cabinet here, I knew what it was right away. It was an old stereo cabinet because we had one in our old house that burnt that actually belonged to my mother. And I remember those days. I remember playing the records on it and playing the radio on it. I wished I still had it. But I'm going to continue to browse and just see what I can find. This little item, I remember my mother having one. It's a match holder, but it's missing the top part, part that goes up there. But people used to have to light their gas stoves with matches, and that would be on the wall next to their stove. This next item that I picked up had been spray painted. Y'all, don't spray paint your clear glass. It doesn't make it milk glass. And of course, I saw this picture here. And I like the pictures, but y'all, I am in love with this wooden box that's on the top of this counter. May have to see about making me one of those. Thank you. 
I saw this dish towel with this recipe on it. And I love things like this, but I could not find a price tag on it anywhere. And sometimes when that price tag is a little too high, you gotta know when to say no and walk away. Just turn and walk away and find the better bargain. Well, this was the most unique find today, a phone and cash register all in one. Never seen that before. And I've never seen anything like these little tiny tricycles. So cute, but not my thing. But how beautiful is this high chair? I'm not gonna lie, this section of the flea market started my anxiety. This is just way too much clutter for me. I'm look trying to look through, but I just, I cannot focus because there are so many small items crammed into one little place. I just can't handle it. Does anybody else have that same issue when you get into an area that has a tremendous amount of items. I mean, come on, y'all. Look at this. I was like, oh, I just, I can't even do it. I've just got to turn and walk away because I just cannot handle all those little bitty items in one small area. Okay, I thought I'd share my haul with you that I did today. Of course, I went to Home Goods, and you'll see in the shot where I saw this lemon stuff. I bought that for my niece. I paid $5.99 for that. And then I've been thinking about getting one of these for my sink to put my sponge in, and it was on clearance for $2. $2 at Home Goods. So that's what I bought at Home Goods. Then I stopped at Dollar General. <laughs> and y'all, I did, I got, of course, my things to make my loaded teas. I make my own loaded teas at home because I'm not paying 10 or $11 a piece for them. So I cleaned them out of the Jolly Ranchers drink mix at my local Dollar General. And then I got the Pure Kick Hydrate Zero Sugar. Um, these are a dollar a box and there's six sticks in each one so that it takes one of these and one of these and my collagen and <clears throat> if you want to know how to make that just invite or comment down the comment section I'll kind of tell you how I do that but anyway I cleared out my local Dollar General and I remembered to get the 9 volt battery backups for my our smoke detectors and then I stopped at the one flea market that I hadn't been to in a while. And I got these gorgeous little bunny rabbits, which I'll have to wash them because they're kind of dirty, but they were $2.98 a piece. So I got that one. And then I got this one. I just think they're adorable, adorable. And then, I bought this wooden tray for $9.99 at the flea market. Not a big haul from the flea market, 
but I'm going to take this and kind of style these bunnies in here somehow. Maybe with some kind of greenery or something and some beads and do my Easter centerpiece for my dining room table. So that's my haul. Well, I said it was just good to kind of get out and not be so sick. I've been so sick for so long. I still don't look real good, but anyway, thank you for coming with me today on my haul. Um, the next video will be hopefully this week. I'm going to make some homemade granola and I'll do a video, show you how I cook it, what the recipe is and everything. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. So it'll help grow my channel. And remember, go out and make those memories with the ones you love. God bless you. Have a great week, y'all.